So at Warner, we're consistently reviewing and researching best practices, um, best technique, and we sometimes come across questions um, that are very valid. And one of the questions we get a lot is, why does a paddler offset or feather their blades? Uh, what makes this a better position? Why are they not just set at zero degrees offset? you notice here on this stikin, if I lay it flat, these blades are offset. And the reason we suggest an offset, a lot of people would, would say it's for wind, but really, what offsetting your blades does is it helps to accommodate for your body's natural rotation. It allows you to hit the water with the maximum best portion of the power face. And I'll represent a stroke here. And when you watch, you watch that my torso is turning, my arms are turning, and my wrist is turning. And when I come back to hit the water on my stroke, I want that blade to be at the right angle. And so that's what feathering or offsetting your blades does. It allows or accounts for your body's natural rotation so you can get the best stroke. Some other things to think about on the water. One is just holding your paddle, right? If you go out and just over grip this paddle, uh, you're gonna wear out really quickly. Um, same thing goes when you're playing other sports, golfing, whatever you're going to do, over gripping on the shaft is not good practice. Having a light loose grip, almost making this connection with your thumb and your first finger and pulling the paddle through the water in that motion with a lighter grip will generally help to keep you on the water longer and will also help to cut down on um, you know, tightening of your tendons, ligaments, and so forth. Another good uh, tip is to paddle with your bigger muscle groups. Recruit those abdominal muscles. Paddle with your torso. If I go out and just simply paddle with my arms, I'm going to wear out quickly. But if I'm recruiting those bigger muscle groups, using my legs, using my core to paddle, I'm going to stay on the water longer and I'm going to be more efficient. Many of our premium and performance paddles are available in a bench shaft. So let's talk a little bit about the benefits of a bench shaft paddle. First, I'm going to demonstrate what happens to your wrist in your arm position when utilizing a straight shaft. When I take a stroke with a straight shaft, I'm going to get bending in my wrist and you can see my wrist is bent. That energy and that stress is being transferred to my elbow and my shoulder, which over time can lead to overuse injuries, arthritis, so forth. We have an option that will help to mitigate those issues called our ergonomic bent shaft. Our bent shaft promotes a nice ergonomically correct, wrist position. You'll see that my wrist is straight, it's lined up with my elbow and my shoulder, and it's really going to help to cut down on overuse injuries, arthritis, and so forth. If you have any issues with your shoulders, tendons, or you tire out quickly, please consider a bench shaft option. Now, there are some things about the bench shaft that you have to consider. The weight is going to come up because we have to lay up the material material heavier in these load points and the price is also going to come up as well. Now another option we have for our shafts is either a standard diameter shaft or a small diameter shaft and it really comes down to feel but one way we measure whether you would be a candidate for a standard or a small is to measure from your first finger to your wrist if that distance is less than six and a half inches, you're probably going to be better off with choosing a small diameter shaft. Again, proper fit is important to us here at Warner, and we want to make sure that we have all these options so that you can have the best experience on the water.